Okay, so welcome to my video on dividing negative numbers. And in my previous video, I talked about multiplying negative numbers. And the good news is that dividing is exactly the same as multiplying. Um, this is because when you have one negative and one positive, you are going to get a negative answer. Uh, let's take a look at this first example right here. We have a positive number being divided with a negative number. A positive and a negative is going to give you a negative answer. And the same for the second example. We have one negative and one positive. We have a negative number on top being divided with a positive number on the bottom. A negative and a positive is going to give you a negative answer. And also just like multiplying, two negatives and dividing is going to give you a positive answer. A negative and a negative give you a positive. So this is something to remember before you get started uh, with some examples. So having said that, um, let's get started right away. Let's get started with an easy example with two positive numbers, which you probably already know how to do. Uh, let's say we have 10 divided by 5. 10 over 5, or 5 goes into 10 two times, so 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Uh, but let's say we have a negative 10 being divided with a positive 5. Now we have one negative number and one positive number. Um, so this is exactly like our second example. We have a negative and one positive, a negative on top and a positive on the bottom. And this is going to give us a negative answer. So instead of positive 2, our answer is going to be negative 2. Now let's say we had a positive 10 and a negative 5. Once again, we have a positive number and one negative number. So this is exactly like the example on the top. We have a positive on the top and negative on the bottom. A positive and a negative is going to give us a negative answer. So our answer, once again, is going to be negative 2. All right. And sometimes the negative sign is not on the top or the bottom. Sometimes the negative sign is right in the middle. So let's say we had a negative 10 over 5. And the negative sign is right in the middle. And this causes some confusion for some students. Uh, but you can... And just look at this uh, the same way as the first uh, or the previous two examples that I did. This answer is also going to be negative 2. If it makes you feel better, um, you could take this negative sign and you could place it in front of the 10, or you could place it in front of the 5. So then you have one positive number and one negative number. Uh, but this uh, is exactly the same as the previous two examples I did, and our answer is going to be negative 2. So let's go over one more example, and this time I'll use a little bit different format. Uh, let's say we have negative 10 being divided by negative 5. And this time we have two negatives. We have a negative being divided by another negative. Okay, and just like multiplying, two negatives are going to give us a positive answer. The negatives cancel each other out, and they give us a positive answer. So negative 10 uh, divided by negative 5 is going to be a positive 2. Okay, so I hope this gave you um, a little bit better idea on how to divide negative numbers. Um, in my next video, I'm going to go over some more difficult examples when we have more than two numbers, say if we had to multiply 3 or divide 3 numbers. Um, so stay tuned uh, for that video, and I really hope that you are enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.